Okay, so today we're going to look at the problem of the multi-fluid manometer. And this problem, if you try to go, if you think too much, it can get a bit complicated, but let's just try to keep it simple. So let's just try to have some understanding. So basically in this problem, this P2 here will be subjected to the atmosphere. So what does that mean? Right away that P2 should be equal to the P atmosphere. All right, but the goal over here is to find out really what is the pressure at point one. So what we need to do over here is basically know the difference in pressure between different points. So we know point one, point two, and maybe we need to know what will be the pressure here at this point over here. Let's call it A. And at this point over here, let's say B. Okay, so if we go from left to right, what do we know? So the first thing we need to do is Okay, where is the pressure higher? Point one or over this point. So what would happen? If the pressure here was higher, the pressure would be pushing the fluid over here. And if it was higher than this point, the fluid will be going up. So then what does that mean? That means that actually the pressure at one is lower than the pressure at A because otherwise the fluid will go above this line over here. Okay, we do this this way. If the pressure here was higher than here, the fluid would overcome this line. So the first conclusion you, we can draw is that the pressure at point A is higher than the pressure at point 1. And by how much it is bigger? So we can write down PA should be equal to what? P1. And then we have, what is the fluid here? Rho 1 g and the change in height is j1 so we just say that is higher so what you need to put over here is plus so how much higher it is at pa that point one the value of rho one g h1 okay now we keep going we need to go from point a to point b so now where is the pressure higher point a or at point b so there's a rule called the Pascal rule that basically will tell you that the pressure at this point here on this fluid within the orange fluid will be the same than the pressure at this point over here. So if you want, this would be our A prime. However, now you have more fluid over here. So that means that the column of fluid is going to create pressure over this point. So what does that mean? That means that the pressure at point B is higher than the pressure at point A. Okay, and by how much? By this column here of fluid. So you can write down PB will be equal to PA plus rho 2 G H2. And now finally, we do the same thing between B and point 2. So let's write it down over here. So P2 PP. So let's see over here what, what would happen. So the pressure over here at point B, following the same criteria, should be the same as the pressure over here. But you agree that this point B prime will have a higher pressure because in addition to the pressure over here, it will be subjected to the pressure created by this fluid on top of it. Okay, so basically, you need to say that the pressure at point 2 is actually lower than the pressure at point B. So you're going to have P2 will be equal to what? PB, but this time, instead of a plus sign, you have minus rho 3 H, H3, G H3. So now if we combine those three equations, what do we have? P2 equals to PB minus rho 3G H3. But what is PB? PB was given over here. So this would be equal to what? PA plus rho 2G H3 would be this term over here. Okay? 
minus rho 3g h3. But now, if we use this equation here, what is Pa? Pa will be that expression here, which is equal to P1 plus rho 1 g h1. Plus, now we keep going, rho 2 g. Oh, here I did a mistake, this should be a 2, sorry. g h2 minus rho 3 g h3. Okay, so that should be equal to p2. So finally, what are we trying to solve here? We're trying to solve for P1. So we can just say P1 will be equals to P2 minus rho 1 g h1. This one will go to the side, becomes negative. This one, the same thing, but we can put it within the same term over here. And then the last one will be positive. Okay, and this is basically the answer for this problem. Okay, so I thought that, I hope that this video was helpful, and see you next time.